It's blanket time. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and whose battery's dying? My own. My own battery is dying. I'll be back. Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is Things We're Making Thursday. Yeah, okay, that's just back there. Okay, it's blanket month. It's February. Um, last month it was slippers month, and now it is blankets month. I was kind of looking ahead at the list of what's coming up. It's a list. Um, so for blanket month, um, I am making progress on my round blanket, but I will show you that um, as a mystery yarn challenge reveal three reveals. There's going to be three reveals on that. Um, I'm got one round done. Like I haven't counted the stitches, but it is a long way around, especially when you're doing like a specialty stitch. You know, um, I was supposed to record this on Wednesday, but Wednesday was like the worst day ever. Seriously, I felt like that. So, um, it is not recorded on Wednesday. I'm recording this on Thursday. A lot of people record theirs on Thursday, but I'm like, I want it up in the morning and I can't get up and get going. Like it's 1123 now. That's, that's pretty par for the course when I finally can get to the, to do the recording. Anyway, um, for the blanket this month, I am doing, um, a stitch sampler blanket. There's going to be 30 different squares. I don't have any intentions of actually finishing it this month, just working on it, keeping you updated, I'm hoping to get as far as I can on it, but I got other things going on too, so I'll show you this side first. This is the same stitch. On this side, it has this really interesting texture there, and it's got the garter stitch edges. And then on this side, it kind of looks a little bit like two by two ribbing, and not quite because it's not a. It does have different texture on the inside there, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like, I like it. I love this. Feels really cool. So this is square one. Shannon of another yarn will love this color. That's all there is to it that is one of her colors. Um, ask me how I know. Uh, then the next square is in progress. And of course it's got the same border stuff. This is the seed stitch. It seems so much wider. I don't know if it's yarn or just because I have it on the thing. My OCD is not liking this project. This one, you cast on 31 stitches. This one, you cast on 32 stitches. And I was looking ahead at a couple of squares, 33 stitches. Yeah, I wanted them to be able to just, you know, very easily attach across there. But no, they're gonna be slightly different stitch counts. I mean, is in the, in the end, are you gonna notice? No, but my OCD notices. So yeah, this one here, it just kind of pulls in. But um, in reality, if I kind of pull it out like it's supposed to be, they are pretty much the same size. The arm might be slightly different, different moods. Um, if I'm uh, in a mood and I'm working on it, it might have a different tension. Um, I definitely noticed that in crochet. I don't know how much that shows up in knitting, but I definitely know this in crochet. If I'm in a bad mood, I will probably crochet a little bit tighter. For the most part, my, my stitches are consistent though. So, um, in the end, I will like stretch this into a square shape, steam it, 
it's acrylic, so basically it's kind of melting a little, 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 little bit. Not too much because we don't want to make it hard and unsoft and all that, but in the end I will. But this one, this square is finished. This square is not finished, in case you couldn't tell. Um, so that's what I'm doing for the blanket. When I get this blanket done, it is going to go to Boggy Creek next fall. I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, the things I have in this bag. More than one thing, there's some finished objects. You'll have to come back tomorrow to see them. I mean, you're going to want to see one of these for sure. It is so exciting. But as for things we're making Thursday, uh, working on your blankets. If you are, let me know. Um, you, I would like to do a reminder. Okay, let's see. First of all, dog. First of all, um, There is a list of like, what am I saying? Okay, follow the hashtag Things Are Making Thursday to see what other people are making. Join the Things Are Making Thursday Facebook group so you can go participate in all the fun there, see the pictures and everything. If you have um, pictures that you would like to share throughout the months, um, you are welcome to, sh I will happily add them onto my videos or you can send them to some of the other people who are doing this. Um, so all that information is below. If you are a Things We're Making Thursday person and you look through my description box and you see an error, would you please let me know? I have updated the order of when we're doing the um, granny squares because I know we're now doing that in the fall instead of um, spring because of national or international I don't know some granny square month thing it's one of those holidays that we have um, so that's happening um, my Facebook group it's it's growing but my Facebook group is in the description below and I would love to invite you to come there and participate in the fun there. Um, I really am excited. To, I want that to grow. I think that would be really fun. Um, we have a post every Thursday for throwbacks where you can show some of your things you made a long time ago and show those off. Um, and it doesn't matter what kind of mix you're making. Um, you can crochet knit. Today my throwback picture was a sewing project that I'd done close to 30 years ago. Uh, so you, you know, it, we've got, I, I would love to start seeing some artwork in there, some poems in there, some music. I mean, like, I just want to see what you're creating. So it's so magical creations. And I would love for you to come and join us on Facebook. The link for that is below. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. Follow the hashtags. See what you're doing. Oh, if you want me to... Did I tell you? If, yeah, I did. My brain just went poof, guys. Like, seriously, it just went poof. So, uh, yeah. See you next week for an update on blankets. And come back tomorrow for Finished Fridays. And come back. Monday for creative expressions where I can tell you why today yesterday was so awful You guys are gonna just be amazed at some of the things that have happened this week and um, What else Sometimes I put tutorials out on Tuesday I would do whip Wednesday. That was the other thing I was thinking of and then if I have special reveals like Mr. Yarn Challenge reveals and unbaggings and all that kind of stuff that come out on Saturday. So kind of have a little system. And now that my brain is so frightened, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know. Something's going on. Uh, let me pull out a square again because how do I do my ending without a thing in my hand? Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.